Story of the Great Flood of Mesopotamia. Legend has it that after Ea, Enki, used earth and water to mold humans, humans began to multiply. Gradually they became more numerous, but also began to make huge mistakes, making the gods angry. The god Enlil, god of air, convened a secret meeting among the high gods to punish humanity. Enlil came up with a plan to use a cataclysm to purify the earth. This proposal received overwhelming support, except for the water god Aea, who did not attempt to destroy humanity. But overwhelmed, Aea was forced to comply and swore not to tell any human about this plan. But Aea still tried to save humanity. He then went to Unapishtim, the most virtuous man, and told him in a dream about the great flood. Aya also told Unapishtim to build a giant cube boat to escape. The detailed size of the boat was also specified by Aya, just the size of the E. Apzu temple. The god of thunder Adad, the god of wind Shulur and Hanish started a terrible storm, marking the beginning of the great flood. Unapishtim quickly boarded the boat carrying as much creatures and food as possible to escape the flood. The cataclysm engulfed the entire human world in a boundless sea of water. The other gods, who were not informed about, also frantically fled to heaven as refugees. Ishtar even cried at that horrifying scene. After seven long days, the storm stopped. Unapishtim opened the door, letting in the first cool breeze, tears falling at the scene of devastation. To find the land of refuge, Unapishtim released a dove for it to search. But the pigeon only dared to fly around the boat, not away. On the second day, Unapishtim released a sparrow, but it was no better. Finally, Unapishtim released a crow, and the crow flew away leading the boat to dry land. After getting off the boat, Unapishtim sacrificed to the gods. All the gods were excited to descend to the human world. Only Enlil was upset when he saw his plan fail. Unapishtim and his wife were granted immortality by Aya. Later, when Gilgamesh sought immortality, he also sought out Unapishtim and his wife. Unapishtim challenges Gilgamesh not to sleep for six days in order to gain immortality. Although Gilgamesh failed, Unapishtim still showed Gilgamesh the way to find the tree of immortality. Ancient Sumerian clay tablets found in the 19th century were successfully translated, revealing a description of the Mesopotamian flood. Dot. The clay tablet called Nippur is considered the oldest Sumerian record of the historical flood as well as the creation of humans and animals on earth. On it, people also found a list of the names of prehistoric cities and the names of the corresponding kings. Complementing this evidence are ancient myths in Mesopotamia, telling about the flood related to history. Epic of Ziasudra, Gilgamesh, and Atrahasis. The deluge clay tablet recounts the epic of Ziasudra that after learning that the god was about to destroy humanity with a great flood, he built a great ship that eventually saved his life in rising water. Another famous work is the list of Sumerian kings. This is an ancient manuscript listing the kings of Sumer, ancient southern Iraq, from the Sumerian and neighboring dynasties, the length of their reigns, and the position of official kingship. Accordingly, history is divided into two periods, before and after the flood. In addition, it also shows how Eridu was the first city on earth. Sumerian mythology also mentions Eridu as one of the five ancient cities. Built before the Great Flood. The list of Sumerian kings records that, 
After the kingship descended from heaven, the kingship settled in Aridig. In that Aridig, Alulam became king, he reigned for 28, 800 years. Alaliar reigned for 36,000 years. Two kings, they reigned for 64, 800 years. Then Aridig declined and the kingship passed to Bad Tibira. In Bad Tibira, Nmen Lu Anna ruled for 43,200 years. Nmen Gal Anna reigned for 28,800 years. Dumuzid, the god of shepherds, reigned for 36,000 years. The three king, they reigned for 108,000 years. Dot. Then the battle swept over. After the great flood, Kish is mentioned as the first city of the gods. After the flood passed, and the kingship descended from heaven, the kingship settled in Kish. A total of 20 kings reigned for 16, 480 years, making up the first dynasty of Kish. Kingship was believed to be passed down by the gods, which may explain why kings reigned on earth for so long. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.